Right, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Right, so uh, in the past some of you have asked me uh, to show more of my tractor collection and uh, a couple of classic cars that I've got. Um, so what I'm going to do at the end of today's video I'm going to put um, some video of one of our classic cars um, it's Sunday today we've been out, it's a nice day so we've been out in the, in the car so I've taken a few photos and my wife has videoed a bit through the windscreen as we're going along ok so the, the classic car that we're going to be showing in this one is our 1956 Ford Prefect it's a 100E and um, I've got the t-shirt on here, my, my missus bought me this and it's the Haynes manual, workshop manual t-shirt of the 100 e so that's real cool, it was nice for her to buy me that to go with the car so yeah the Ford Prefect uh, we affectionately name her Olive because that's the colour she's she's olive colour and that was her like original colour it's all been re-sprayed and everything but um, the in, some of the interior that's the original colour, the original dashboard colour still there. The second part of the video is going to be of that um, after the restoration video. So today's video or this week's video, the restoration video, is going to be a Dinky Toys Eaton Yale Articulated Tractor Shovel and that's Dinky number 973. So that's what we're going to do. So before we start on that, I'd just like to say thank you to all my subscribers, old and new. And thanks everybody for your comments and support. And thanks for watching my videos. Without you, it would be a waste of time doing it. Okay, so without any more hold-ups, as I will say, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. See how I got on with this one. Okay, let's take a closer look. Well, I've just come back from work and it's 31 degrees out there. I'm absolutely melting. <laughs> nice to come indoors in the shade. Right, well, it's not too bad this one. Really, it's uh, just got shabby paint. Um, nothing's broken. The only thing there is is a lot of wear. In these parts um, you know I guess these sort of split bins that make the rams up I could tighten the must bows around where the pin goes through and uh, maybe take up the slack by putting thicker pins but I'm not sure so we'll have to look at that when we undo it. But yeah, I mean it's the dinky models with the screws so there's no drilling out. So that's cool. So yeah, I think it's not going to be a bad restoration this. No parts to replace other than the stickers. Which I've got a photo of so I'm going to try and do those myself. Yeah, so that's it really. There's mantle time. Right, I guess I might as well start by undoing the screws. Take the base off. Phillips head screws.
Oop, I believe. Well, that fell apart quick. There's a spring in there. Okay, so the wheels come off. The base is just full of crap. It's a bit of a funny shape, I don't know. meant to be that shape I think put it back and have a look yeah meant to be that shape so that's all right it's not bent just this little bit here is bent that's that's nothing straighten that with the pliers mm. So that's the bottom of the cab. Went in there, I suppose. And see it all fell out. Yeah. Okay, so that goes in there. Like a screwdriver. Get the interior out. Needs a good wash. screen and that looks like it just pushes in but it's in pretty tight mm. very tight mm. there you go Well, that's all alright, they're just going to need a good clean up, that's all. Well, that's it, ready for the caustic soda, spiders webs and all by the looks of it. Right, so down to this bit. One of the wheels must pull off, I would think. Oof, I don't know. Well, the tyre's off anyway. those or well, that one maybe oh they're well stuck those don't really want to put that in a caustic soda Mm, not too sure about that. I think I'll have to have a look at that off camera. Right, so I've got to use the Dremel <coughs> on this pin. That's just a case of remembering where each one goes now. Okay, so that's that one. Right. So. <clears throat> I've already done this one. I'll file that down. Can I get it all the way out? That's the thing. Oop. Oh. Turn it back 
go around. Okay, so if I pull those rams out and these rams out, so that's that bit. Now I might get away maybe with leaving that pin in. I don't know. Although it would look messy if I paint that, so anyway, I'll open these split pins to get them off. Then that'll give me more room to file the end of the pin down to get it out. It's actually bent as well that one. So. Okay, so I'll get this one out from the bucket. Now, there's the little tiny one on the on the bucket. These split pins all the same. Yeah, they're all the same, so it doesn't really matter. Right, so there's just this little pin. So either I, I think I might leave it in there to be honest. I'll see. Right. Get this pin out. Oop. Right. This pin out, so that's those little rams. And that's gone on the floor. do this I have to do this one be careful with that because I don't want to knacker up the rims I'm thinking I might be better cutting that pin and putting a new one piece of old pop rivet shaft will do for a pin on there and I can pin the end over my punch I think I might do that so I'm going to have to leave the wheels on because I can't get those off. So they're going to have to go in the caustic soda. So it's one of them. Now I need to get these pins out. I'll have to dremel the ends. And because uh, they need to be polished up they should be like chrome, chromey effect those. Right. right well, I'm going to trim all the ends off those, so I'm not going to film that because it'll take up all the video. So I'll catch you when that's done. Okay, so what I've decided to do, I'm going to cut these pins because I'm going to end up knackering these these bits, you know, these bits here, and I don't want to do that. So better if I cut the pins and make some new ones. So that's what I'm going to do. Boom, that one's gone. Goodness knows where it's gone, but it's gone. There. Okay. So that's, that's it. So. And I think I'll do the same with this one. Because I don't want to... I don't want to damage these plastic rams by trying to file the ends down on the on the uh, pin because there's absolutely no play in that at all and they're right tight down so that it's, it'll definitely damage the plastic ram if I try and uh, file the ends so I'm just going to cut that and put a new one oh. ok so that flew over there 
Right. Okay, that's off. So that's everything ready now. All the bits ready for the caustic soda. So that'll be the next thing. Okay. Right, boiling water's in. Caustic soda time. Knock out caustic soda. There we go. bits of orange paint starting to float around. That's good. Good sign. Mm, it's frothing away this one. for a couple of minutes and then uh, once it's out of there I'm going to wire wheel it with a Dremel so uh, or the rotary tool so next time you see it it'll be all cleaned up and ready for primary okie doke Okay, so that's it all wire wheeled up, wire brushed up, cleaned up, polished up. Um, I did have a bit of an issue um, because of all the play in the linkages. I said I was going to make some bigger pins um, and then drill the holes out. And this one I drilled a little bit too far and it snapped off. So I'm going to have to repair that. Now the only way I can see that it's going to be strong enough is I've cut a piece of rivet, big pop rivet, and um, I think if I put it on there like that, I'll hold my camera with one hand so it's not easy to see, but anyway, what I've done, I, I've filed this bit to a sort of a half round, you can see there. And then this piece I'll put, I'll glue, I'm going to glue it there, oh, God. there, I'm going to glue it there like that, and then onto that bit, and then like that I think it'll be strong enough um, to hold what it's got to hold. It hasn't got a great deal of weight on it, so I think that that'll do, so that's what I'm going to do. I can always strengthen it up from the middle. To there and put another stay across. I know it won't be, it won't be quite right. But um, even now, it's not going to be quite right. I could try and get another uh, donor vehicle and get that bit, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to repair it like that. So I think it's going to be okay. 
so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now I'm going to go out and prime this now. It's a nice day outside, so I'm going to go and do that. Okay, so I'll catch you when it's done. Okay, so it's had its coat of primer, and um, I'm going to have to paint these bits yellow. Um, so I've masked this off a bit, I know it's only in the primer, but I don't want a, a colour change like I had with the pink on the bonnet of the uh, Ford um, the console uh, classic that I did. Um, so I didn't want to sort of overspray some of the yellow onto where the orange goes in case it changes the shade slightly. So I've masked that up. So I'm going to go out and paint the colour now. Okie doke. Right, so that's all those bits painted and lacquered. Um, I've got to do a bit of detailing on the on this, not much, just the lights. And um, yeah, when I came back from work today, <laughs> I've been about an hour and a half making those stickers. It's sticker on sticker paper, so I've been on 3D paints on my computer, and I've got them to the right size. And I've, I've copied them off of a photograph of another one of these that was for sale on eBay. So I've been mucking around with that. No, they're not too, too bad. They're, they're good enough, they'll do. Okay, so we're going to stick those on. Right, here we go. I wasn't sure about the size of this one. So I've had to just... I uh, have a rough guess from the photographs. So. Okay, so that goes on the back here somewhere, somehow. Should be easier with the tweezers, isn't it? I still managed to put it slightly more one side than the other. I don't want to pull it off, I'll pull the paint off. It's not too bad. Right, um, so this one goes on this side. I think. Yeah. Oopla. Right. Not 100% straight either. I've got my glasses on to see closer and yet um, because I'm leaning over the camera I'm a bit too far away so I'm kind of a little bit blurred what I'm looking at. There. Actually doesn't look too too bad I don't think. For our made stickers. I gave them a couple of coats of lacquer before and I dried them actually with a hairdryer. 
Because I thought, no, in my luck, you'll get a load of fluff or something like that stuck to the lacquer. I've done this bit yellow at the top here because I thought it looked better, but actually in the proper model that bit was orange all the way up there. But I think it looks a bit better like that. So, okay, that's that bit done. I'm going to just do these lights here in silver. I'm not sure about the back ones what they're supposed to be, whether they're, they're red rear lights or or what, or whether they're reversing lights. I don't know. They're not usually highlight or detailed. They're usually just left orange. But it would be nice to sort of detail them. I thought of doing these in black, but then I thought, well, I'll probably mess it up or something. So. The original model was just like that, so I, I think I'll leave it like that. Okay, so I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so what I've decided to do, I'm going to do those in silver, like as reversing lights, because that seems to be um, what these are. And then usually the, the rear lights are sort of down there in indicators. Um, but these are usually like big reversing lights. So I'm going to do them as such. Um. <laughs> I've got, I'll show you in a minute, I've got these new glasses. So make it easier to see what I'm doing but with the camera there it's still not that easy to see what I'm doing I'm using some silver paint from one of the spray cans. I just sprayed it into one of those little shot glass, plastic shot glasses, but it dries so bloody quick. Ooh. Right, this one's on the front. Too, too bad. Oh, see that's drying so quick. It's going stringy. There. Right, I'll put that to one side and then I've been waiting for some um, <coughs> paint remover, Revel paint remover. That's what I usually use to clean my brushes and that was my last little bit and I've just tipped the bloody pot over, haven't I? <coughs> and I've ordered some more on eBay or oh, Amazon I can't remember and it hasn't come yet so <clears throat> I've got some of this but it <laughs> it sort of does but it's not great for this acrylic paint there's a little dribble left in there so it might be enough just to clean my brush this time
pain in the arse. So when you go <coughs> on uh, eBay, it comes up and then it says out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. So there was one place where I managed to get some, but it's a lot more expensive um, than the ones that are out of stock, obviously. That's why they're out of stock, I suppose. So in Jersey, where I usually buy this from, they've been shut because of the coronavirus. And even though the other shops are opening, again now, they haven't opened. And it's only a little tiny shop called Red Triangle. Um, great little shop, they sort of sell everything. When I was a kid, I used to buy my Corgi tractors and Dinky tractors and Britain's tractors in there. Because they used to have those as well. So it's in our market in Jersey. Right, <clears throat> okay. So these are the glasses I bought. They were only about 12 quid on eBay. Not on eBay, on Amazon. They got the light. Oof. They got the light. <clears throat> and um, they're really good. They're really good. They came today, so I've just used them to paint those lights. And um, you've got all the different, a box of all the different lenses. So I'm really chuffed with those. That's great. I'd bought some others about a month ago and they're like for jewelers and you've got to be really really close to them and you've got to be too close to do any painting so they were a waste of money but anyway these are great I'm really chuffed for them so hopefully that'll make my life easier when I'm painting or doing my detailing right okay well I think we'll reassemble all this tomorrow because it's time for my tea now so I'm starving. I went off to work this morning at about 20 to 5, so <laughs> I'm knackered and I really want something to eat now. Okay, so we'll see you tomorrow. Well, I'll see you in a minute, but it'll be tomorrow for me. Okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, so that's all the bits ready now for assembly. Everything painted, everything lacquered. I've made all new pins um, and I've labelled them to make sure I get them in the right place. Um, yeah, so I think I've got everything anyway. But you all know what I'm like now for leaving bits out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll get on and assemble it. I've got a photo on my phone of it before, so hopefully I'll get everything in the right place. Right, well let's start with the easy bit first. Uh, let's put the screen in. I remember that this time. I haven't put it in the pledge, I've just polished it up. So anyway that snapped in nice. Um, this in. Uh, I'll have to go this way. You could almost do with having a driver in, but I've had a look and I couldn't find one small enough. All the ones I've got are too big. Right, okay. This is the bit I don't like much to do. The pin that goes through there now, which there you are, holds broken bracket to frame. That's the one. And I'm gonna have to pin these over, so I don't know how I'm gonna get on with that. I'm gonna do it with my drill, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so that goes in that way, I think. I think. I hope. Yeah. I 
Yeah, so I've drilled out all these holes slightly bigger and made bigger pins so that to try and take up all that slack. Just going to use that through gently because don't want to break it. Just a bit of repaired. That's it, it's gone through. That's so when I repaired that with the super glue and baking soda. I must have got a bit of glue in there. And that's what's made it difficult. Right. Just make sure I have got that in the right place. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pin that over with my uh, drill press and then a couple of nail punches. Let's see how that goes. Right, I've done that, but uh, I slipped with the punching. <laughs> when I was taking it from under the drill, I went a bit high and I caught it just there. So I've touched it up, but it has actually peened over, not too bad. So, a bit of a hiccup there, I'm afraid. Right. Um, what do I do? Put it to the loader frame first, or put the front bucket on first? Probably put the front bucket on. Right, I'll put that over that way. And, uh, I'll put all the pins through from the same way. So that's the one front bucket. On the floor. Yay. Right. Okie doke. Here we go. So I'll put that through. There. Try to put it through from there. If I can. Don't know if I can. Yep. Yeah, it's going. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to go and pin that over now. Right, well I've realised the cock up now and I've had to take this one off again because what I should have done, I should have put this um, hang on. I should have put these things on first because you can't get the pin in once it's on the actual frame so I should have put that in first and that into there other balls up So that's what I should have done first. I don't think I've left enough there. Oh, to pin that over. Oh, for goodness sake. I think I made my pin too short. It all seemed to go together perfectly before I painted it, when I test fitted it. And now it's all going pear shaped. So it looks like I may have to make another pin again. No, there's definitely not enough here to pin that over.
definitely not enough so I'm going to have to do another pin ok I'll make another one and then I'll come back to this ok so I've made a new pin and put it on and pinned it over and that had a little bit of rust on it there and I couldn't get it off I wire brushed it then I polished it with a so that's sort of the best I can get it I'm afraid right <coughs> okay well what I'm going to do now I'm waiting I'm just going to um, put these back on there so. two of these just open them up a bit and slide them over Easier said than done. Hang on, there's one that's open, so that might be the one I took off there. Oh, the bugger, that one's falling off now. Okay, pinch him back over. Right, put him on, back on, right, pinch him over. So we'll put one of these uh, plastic. Tubes. Hang on, I better check which way they go. That way. Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because they spin on there. What a dopey twit. What a dopey twit, eh? And then they're all the same on the uh, one the side. Oh, for goodness sake, come on. As per usual, this model's biting back at me. Right. So that needs to go that way. Should have put this pin back through again. And then have another go. There you go, one go through now. Tell you what, that could be a problem. The head on my pin I've made is too big. That bit there is too big, that's going to rub on that arm. So I need to file that. Oh, I tell you what, oh, this just doesn't seem to get any easier. <laughs> just drop the pin on the floor now. Right, here we go. Have another go. Right, that's through. Now I've got to pin that over again for the second time. Right, I'm going to try and put these rams through here yeah. right they go that way so push that in boop, 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 boop. I'm not doing that well with this I've chipped the paint quite a bit on the loader arms 
got a fair bit of touching up to do. I've knackered one of the punches doing the peening, but it was only a cheap punch, so I guess I need to buy another bit more expensive one. And slightly bigger than what I've got. Just hammer that end over. I think it's safer for me to do that because I've slipped a couple of times with a drill, and that's what's scratched the paint. Okay, I, I'm think I'm, I'm going to do the rest off camera because I'm having a hard time with it, and uh, see, I've put a few chips on it, and I'm going to have to repaint that side. So. Oh, everything's going wrong with this model. <laughs> right, okay, I'm going to finish that and touch it up and then catch you when it's ready. On the, uh, I'll put it on this bit and then once it's on there, then we'll put the rest back together. Okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, finally I've got all the pins and rams in and, uh, I had a disaster, a mod drill press, because I slipped and I took all the paint off. I tried touching it up, it looks shit, so I've had to repaint the arm there. And um, this ram, I broke the ram as well, the bottom it cracked, so I've had to repair that as well. So I've, I've got um, I've got it back together, that front bit now, so it's all tight. There's, well, there's a little bit of play in that one. There's quite a bit of play in that one, but it's that front pin, but the rest is all pretty tight you know up and down it's tight so it's it's not bad it's not bad at all a lot tighter than it was so now we've just got to put it the back end back onto the front end okay right so this piece has got to fit in here this way up like that I've got my two screws, wheels, right, it's got to be that way. Um, I've put the spring back in this, that helps bring that, oh, I've got a chip there. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. Get my screwdriver ready. Get the right one. This one. And then I've got the base plate. It's got to go in that little groove at the back first. Okay. And then put the screws in. Cross headed screws, so a lot easier than the other ones. Oop, I don't want that happening. I'll tighten it each side slowly. Right, that's that. Tell you what, there's not much ground clearance with those rams. And I tried the rams the other way, which that's how they were on this model before I dismantled it. And when it turned, 
well they still touch but it really touched a lot quicker so I've turned them around this way so you get slightly more lock out of it so yeah so there she is finished at last I just touch up those couple of little tiny chips underneath and what I might do, <coughs> because I made these um, pins with rivet, old rivets, um, I'm just going to put some molotov to make the ends shiny. Okay, so I'll do the usual. Um, I'll take a few outdoor shots, and then we'll give ourselves a reminder of um, how it used to look on the turntable, and I'll shove her back on the turntable and we'll watch her going round so you can see it from each side and at the back and the front and all directions okay well thanks very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope I haven't bored you too much um, it's tried me a bit this one again I'm, I was getting a bit fed up with it to be honest because I've been on it for about a fortnight so um, yeah I'm glad it's finished out of the way so yeah, so um, if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and uh, leave your comments and um, please tune in again next week for another video. So hopefully we'll see you then. Okay, so cheers. Bye for now. Cheery.
There she is, our little olive. Hope you enjoy this bit of video. I think I'm going to have to get the gearbox out and have a look at that because she's starting to get a bit noisy in first and second gear. So, especially when you're going up hills, it, it makes a bit of a racket. So, I'm going to have to have a look at that. Okay, so here's some of the interior. I think the door cards are original. Um, the seats have been recovered. Um, I've changed the steering wheel. I, I got the steering wheel on eBay. It's the same as the one that was on it, but the indicators are not on the middle anymore. They've been taken off by the previous owner and put there, which I don't. It's a shame, really. Um, that's the dashboard. Very basic. Mileage 62,302. And uh, yeah, that dashboard, that's I think the original colour, or the paint's wearing off there. But that is the original colour, this bit's not been painted. So there's our crap out, hanging from the mirror. So that's about it. Bit of stains around the back window because the water had obviously come in at some time. So it's, it's not too bad. It's quite a tidy little car. Um, it's presentable. It's not, uh, it's not um, you know, pristine, but it's great for what we want. It's good fun. We enjoy it. So there you are.
Right, we just come here to Le Londe and they're flying the model aeroplane, so we're watching that.
There's our old school, St Lawrence School. Back home.